Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title and as you guys voted on my Instagram last week, we are doing a fall faves. Also, I feel like I'm breaking out everywhere. My roots need to be done, hence the hat. Look at my nails, I mean, I'm missing gel. My TMJ pain is so bad today. Um, one of my favorite pieces of advice that I got from this badass boss was you don't only work on days that you feel amazing. That completely kind of changed my world when I heard that because as a creative person, it's much easier to want to work when you feel, you know, really upbeat and stuff. And since then, when I'm not feeling well, I always think about that saying. Because the actual filming part is actually my favorite part of the whole process of putting up a video. Um, definitely not editing. <laughs> but yeah, I always feel in a better mood after I sit down and film and I feel like I'm talking to a best friend. Enough about me. Let's just get into my favorite. All right, first thing I'm gonna talk about is the lip combo I'm almost always wearing. And I did mention this on Instagram because I was getting a lot of questions. I always laugh at that now because someone made a meme about like all influencers say like, I was asked to share this or whatever. Anyway, I was getting asked a lot about my lip combo and I've been loving this combo. So I like to line my lips with this NYX. It says it's a lipstick, but it, to me it looks like a thick lip liner. Um, and then I finish it with either Max Creme de Nude or Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in KKW. I feel like since I started lining with this liner lipstick thing first, I feel like my lip color ends up lasting a lot more because you are doing more of the outer edge and I think topped with a creamy nude just makes it all that much better. Just makes it more me. I know that like browns are in for lips, but I just always need a little bit of a pinky hue to my lips. All right, for this next one, this is a little bit weird. I came across this one time and totally not knowing that this existed, totally had this problem, didn't know that there was a solution for it. And it's basically, I think my piercing has either stretched out. I really wanted to have gauged ears when I was in high school and I would wear like heavy or like big earrings to kind of stretch it out. And now I really regret that mistake. So um, I feel like if I wear any earrings that are heavier, they end up looking like that. And it's weird because I feel like I've always liked my ears. It's such a weird thing to like or not like about yourself. But I feel like since that kind of started happening about two to three years ago, I became really self-conscious about wearing earrings. So either just wear studs or like nothing at all. And then I found the Loeb Miracle. <laughs> Literally, this seems like something like an 80 year old woman would need, but here we are. <laughs> but yeah, it totally works. So it's just this little, by the way, when I ordered these on Amazon, it came with like a pack of 10. So meaning like 10 boxes. So I think I'm good. So basically it just comes with these little stickers that you kind of see there and you just stick them to the back of your ear and it kind of just acts as like a reinforcement. So then when you put the earring through, it's holding on to that little mesh rather than pulling down on your ear. The other reason too that I thought this was a good idea for is actually preventative. It's going to prevent it from getting worse. Maybe eventually I'll wanna take care of it more permanently, but for now, my 80 year old <laughs> earlobe tape is my best friend. All right, my next favorite is this deodorant by Kapari. I think I have mentioned them in the past I was actually approached by them years ago. Um, if I wanted to work with them, nobody had ever heard of them. I hadn't heard of them. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to try a product first. And I was like very kind of snooty with the brand as I kind of am with all the brands I work with in the beginning. And then I remember for the first time at BeautyCon, they had a whole setup and it was like real coconuts and they were all about like being supernatural and people there were like super nice and I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of like blew off that company because I didn't know the brand and it actually seems like really amazing. But yeah, since I've become such a fan of Kapari products, but mainly this deodorant and it's completely like I've used it all the way down to the bottom. I've probably gone through, say maybe four of these at this point. 
I love the way that it smells. It doesn't smell like any other deodorant. It smells like oceany and clean. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Kind of coconutty, but not like sweet coconut. It's hydrating for under the arms. It's not a sticky formula. It's probably one of the best working like non-aluminum natural deodorants that I've tried. All right, next one is a fragrance. And I think I've mentioned this in the past. And it's a Jo Malone, the Jasmine and Marigold. It's one of my favorite scents. And the reason why I've included it in today's video is because it is such a fall scent to me. I love it, but I feel like at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily think of this as me, but I feel like it's me in the fall. Get a new scent for fall, then gossip. All right, next product is this dry shampoo, by the way, in collaboration with Byredo. I've been such a diehard fan of the Dry Bar dry shampoo. I still think it's probably one of the best working dry shampoos, um, but I was never a fan of the scent. This one, oh my gosh, of course, thanks to the collaboration, it smells incredible. Ugh, it's just so good. I feel like when I wear this in my hair and I'm out, people always ask what perfume I'm wearing and I'm like, eh, I think you're smelling my dry shampoo. It's also a really, really good dose of like the powdery material that like actually sucks up the oils but it does a good job of not being that powdery white. So if you do hate that in a dry shampoo, this one is amazing for that. Now, along with that, I do have to include my original favorite, which is the Dry Bars, but they have a new scent. And because it was a new scent, I bought it in a small travel formula just to see how I like it. And it's the Coconut Colada. And this is in my like travel bag. And it just, it smells so vacation-y. So I was like, I like that it is a new scent, so it's now my vacation scent. And yeah, but like I said, this one is definitely more powdery than the Way. All right, next I'm gonna go into skincare. Starting with the first step, I'm in love with these makeup wipes. Makeup wipes have completely changed the way I wash my face. The fact that you get like a little white cleansing toilette, you can see whether or not you still have makeup on your face, so that part's amazing. I used to think that makeup wipes were instead of washing your face, and I remember I tried it like once or twice like years ago and absolutely hated makeup wipes because I thought it was like so, it just, it just seemed really dirty to me. And then when I realized like I can just wet these and wash my face with the product on the wipes, and since doing that I feel like I get a much better clean. Um, this one is by Bliss and it's an oil free, which I love. It gets rid of my mascara super easily. That's another thing too with lashes. You need to be careful with your lashes, but yet you still need to cleanse them effectively. So I feel like these literally just like one swipe down and I feel like I get all the mascara off. So yeah, makeup wipes. And I also have a package of these in my um, travel bag just to spare the hotel staff of my makeup <laughs> everywhere. All right, along with that, this is completely empty. This is probably my third or fourth bottle now. And the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel is incredible. It just, it smells natural, it's clean, um, effectively takes off makeup, but it never makes my face or my skin feel dry or like just after you've cleansed your face, sometimes you can get that feeling. So absolutely love, love this one. All right, two more for skincare. Um, and the next one is this Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen is a Danish brand. For those of you that don't know, I'm married to a Danish man and anything that is Danish made is pretty incredible. So it's an AHA complex. So it's renewing of the cells, but without the retinol kind of effect where your skin is peeling. It has a brightening effect to the skin. So anytime that you break out and then you have a spot that normally takes a week or two to completely go away. Um, with this, I feel like in a couple of days, it's just gone. Also, I feel like I break out far less with using this. And it, it's called the Invigorating Night Transforming Gel, and I feel like it totally is that. All right, last skincare item is the Retinol by Skin Medica. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted when I got an email saying that Derm Store was having like a huge sale. I think it was 30% off. 
So anyway, the Durham store is an online store where you can get super high-end, high-quality products and lines that a spa or your facialist would carry. And I'm such a big fan of Skin Medica's retinol. I used their retinol. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about this, but this is what cured me of my adult acne. And I feel like it was within like a week or two. So super loyal to this brand and product and actually went up to the 1.0. I was doing the 0.5 at first, but this one is definitely strong, but incredible. And originally the first one that I bought at the spa where I get my facials done, um, I want to say that it was like $150 and I think I got this one just under $100. So, All right, next is kind of hair styling products, which I feel like I don't talk a lot about. Definitely talk much more about hair care kind of products. So the first one is this Orbe Restyling Spray. Super tiny bottle. I got this to try it out. So basically this is for like a next day hair. So you have dry shampoo for your roots, but then the rest of your hair can sometimes feel a little bit lifeless. So spraying a little bit of this on, again, smells amazing. So it refreshes your hair in the sense of how good it smells, but it also kind of revives it with more volume. And I've never tried a product that is like next day hair that leaves your hair feeling silkier and softer than it was before. And that's what this does. I feel like a lot of products that are like, that's kind of a hair refresher, ends up making your hair feel kind of like, like if you had sprayed hairspray on it. So it's like sucking up the oils, but it's also like sticky now. So if you're going away for a weekend and you're not planning on washing your hair for the one night, these two in combination are incredible. The scents don't clash and it's just an amazing duo. All right, this is the last one for products and it's this Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair. It's a texturizing spray and I'll actually explain what I like it for. You guys know how much I do love Kevin Murphy products, their packaging, their, their mission. Anyway, the way I like to use this flexible texturizing hairspray is actually if I want to volumize my roots. So if I want to tease a little bit, spraying hairspray on a tease is just way too harsh. But if you do want to add some volume to your roots, just tease once or twice with like a soft warm bristle brush at the roots and then spray this. And it's definitely gonna hold it, but it's going to be a flexible hold. So meaning you can easily brush through that teasing, but it's also gonna give you volume at the roots. It's gonna last all day. So since the lockdown, I mentioned to you guys in a couple of videos ago that I still do my hair and makeup every day because I'm on video calls almost every single day. But where I've gotten really cozy slash lazy is how I dress. I only like to wear super soft, cozy knits or sweaters. And I swear to you, this spring, summer, and early fall, I lived in this sweater dress. This is from Revolve. It has that like kind of, I don't wanna say structured, but which, makes you feel less sloppy. And what I love about this, is you can throw it over the knee, boots, you can even pair it with heels, which I think is super cute. And this sweater has inspired me to buy so many more other sweaters in this style. I've even got some from Amazon from the men's section, literally like $11. So yeah, that is definitely a big favorite this fall. And I almost feel like I would be lying to you if I didn't include this. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that is it. That is all of my fall favorites. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have a favorite that you're absolutely loving, please leave it down below, share it with us. Or if in any of the categories of what I've shared here today, if you have something that you think is better, let me know. I'm always open to trying new different things. Well, product wise, at least. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and being here with me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.